welcome back guys uh, today I'm going to show you how to solve this exercise questions so in this exercise you need to create a shopping app yeah that sell coffee and it has two activities the first is main activity it has the layout like this image here so you will see that there's a title and all of, of course the spinner and this this one is switch button and then of course the additional item like a radio but uh, checkbox here and then we have a radio button here and then the total uh, rupiah the total um, the money that uh, the customer must pay and then of course the final confirm button here so um, there's exception that this following radio group will appear after if if the user uh, take the extra zero means that um, at the at the first the app running uh, this will uh, will be invisible we will hide hiding from the users so when i click this one this uh, radio button group will appear and if i take off this one it will uh, invisible again so let's let's first thing first we create this layout and you can open the main activity layout and then we place several things like the title so i'm going to use the hello word here as the title okay let's put it in 16 and then 16 here let's say oh sorry let's change the text here to coffee. just like that right and then i make it bigger it pulled and then uh, put it drag it on top left corner corner of screen okay so no need to attach to the right no need to attach to the left i mean bottom so let it just left and top okay next one we create this following text view drag and drop again so we have choose your coffee Okay. To the top, to the left, select it, and then we put spinner here on the bottom of choose your cuff here, and then we drag it to here, drag it to the left, and set as 16. And because um, there is a switch button here, so we will adjust the width here. So let's say, for example, 200 dB. Yeah, let's say just put 200 dB here. And then we want to put the switch switch button. This is the switch button, and we can simply drag and drop. And that's it to the left right of the spinner. And I think, I think, I think this will work, okay? So the switch button, um, it has uh, set an ID, and then of course you have to set ID for the spinner. For the spinner here, we will set it as spin coffee, and this, yes, and then the switch one, we're going to change just that to uh, coffee style or coffee, uh, coffee switch. Switch, um, what, what is called, yeah, uh, style, yes, yeah, okay, just say switch style here, switch style, All right, so we have a switch style, and then it should uh, appear for an ice value here, you can uh, search on the text on and text of here, and change it to hot or ice, means that if it's turn turned on, means it has the true value it will uh, appear as consider as hot and if it's tick off it uh, consider as ice you can make it check it or not yeah depend on what do you want to set it as default one so let's just leave it like this and then we going to add one more text view okay here Okay, drag it. So in this case, we just set the additional item. 
okay just like that and then we drop three check box one two and three right okay so just drag it under the additional item drag to the left this one Okay, we have three checkbox. So the first checkbox is extra zero. So you can name rename the tag zero here. Extra zero. The second one is extra milk, extra coffee for the third one. Okay, and you have to rename its ID. So this example here, check zero. Yes, the second one should be check milk. The third one should be check uh, coffee. Okay, so that will do it. And next, we're going to add the choose syrup flavor. So just drag and drop another text view. Put it on the bottom of extra coffee, the left. So, so it's 16 here. And it will be just zero flavor. Okay. 16, this one should be. 16 all right this one should be zero all right and uh, this one we we need a radio button three radio buttons but um as you know it we should put the radio group first before put any radio button in our layout and then next you just drag and drop three radio button inside the radio group so one another one and the third one so we have a three radio button within within the radio group like this so you what you will need to do is just uh, attach it to the left right and top yeah left and top but I mean, okay so we have three radio buttons the first one is vanilla and we can click it uh, vanilla and make it as default means that uh, it's it has the default value a check up here true and the second one should be chocolate the third one should be honey right and of course um you have to rename it's of this radio button let's say radio honey and second one should be radio chocolate the first one should be radio vanilla radio vanilla and of course the whole things the radio group here you should set id for it for example here the zero group okay we're going to need that on the kotlin method okay and as you can see here we have, we have a this um button and of course the, the, the rupiah the amount of the amount of uh, money that uh, customers should purchase or so pay right so first I'm going to create this button so this one should be yeah 32 and 32 yeah let's let's say let's just use that uh, value and we have a confirm and then for the button style I'm going to just color no 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 don't use it uh, button color yeah just like this okay and then um, next one we create a giant text here so I'm going to drag and drop text view here and then make sure this text view 
is on the top of the confirm button on the left yeah just like that and make sure this one should be 16 distance and finally you can make giant x here boom then change that to rubia zero all right okay i think that's all for our uh, layout here so uh, check for let's uh, the next uh, video will i will just explain to you the code inside